Hi Internet, Rainy Brain here. What's black and white and red all over? So for this master board, I just used black, white, and red. I started by using some watercolors on a book page. And then I set it aside to dry. If you are one of those people that is very particular about fabric scissors and how they are used, you might want to pretend this next bit didn't happen. I will neither confirm nor deny if those are in fact pinking shears. But whatever they are, they make a very nice zigzag edge on this paper. So I just cut some strips of that and I'm using tacky glue to stick them down to this black and white gingham paper. So now that the book page with watercolors has dried, I'm tearing it into pieces and I'm using Mod Podge to stick it on. So this is the first time I'm using this silver paint and I had hoped for a slightly more opaque look but because it's a master board and it doesn't have to be perfect I just went with it. And then I have an old plastic credit card that I've been using for paint scraping techniques. The blue tape is because this is going on the internet and I don't need everybody knowing what bank I use and my account number and all that stuff. And then I'm using this plastic sake cap, but instead of using it just for stamping a circle, I'm using the stamp twist method. So I dip it in paint. I stamp it down, and while it's still on the paper, I twist. I'm putting the red paint right on top of the black. So this little drip that happened was completely by accident, but again, I just went with it and used the old credit card to scrape it around the page a little bit and I'm using a heart cookie cutter to stamp some hearts. This is a napkin. I actually really like using napkins in master boards because when you stick them on, it adds some nice texture without obscuring a lot of what's behind it. And a nice bonus is that they're often free when you get fast food.
So I'm just going to put some strips of napkin on all over the place and use some Mod Podge on top. And I'm using this because I don't have any white acrylic paint. I just use it interchangeably with the white paint instead of buying two things. And this is one of my favorite techniques is using a string I just dip it in the paint and let it land where it will land and leave marks where it will leave marks. Sometimes I'll press it down with my fingers to make the marks a little more obvious, like I did here. It gets very messy, but I like the complete randomness of it. After I did it a few times with white, I added some black and red and did it a few more times. And there it is. Now I just need to leave it to dry. So let me know what you think in the comments and if I've inspired you to do anything similar, I would love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.